Hello everyone, my name is Torbombus and welcome back to some more Death Stranding. Uh, Norman's been sitting here for a bit, uh, asking for a shower, and there's a good reason why. Uh, I was gonna stream this, I might still be doing this, I just wanted to get probably further into the game, about an hour in, uh, make sure no nothing story-wise happens. Um, I wanna check on Lou. Apparently, it's Lou now. Hey, Lou. Hey. Knock, knock. Hey. Aw, oh, it's imitating. <laughs> uh. What the? Hang on. Hold on a minute. What the fuck? <laughs> What? Why? Oh, what the? F Lou, are you alright, buddy? Hey, Lou. Hey. Oh. Hey, Lou. Alright. Okay. Um. That was weird. Let's go ahead and get you into a shower. See, yeah, uh, there we go. And story was gonna happen. Sam, do you copy? Yeah, Hartman. As you might have suspected, time here stopped while you two were on that battlefield. If my thinking is correct, the dimension to which you traveled is a kind of beach. Uh, to, to explain a little, our bodies are hard all occupy the same world but our souls our car have beaches all their own these beaches are given form inside our brains by our beliefs religion philosophy and so forth as a result a beach can be anything and those anythings form a multiverse however if many people die at once their beaches can become entangled creating a strand field this phenomenon is exacerbated in wartime by omnipresent feelings of resentment and despair. Beaches are more easily and frequently entangled. On such a beach, exits vanish and experiences cycle endlessly. Um, picture it like a, a, a record player. The needle skips, playing the same phrase again and again. They're fighting a battle that has no beginning or end. Round and round it goes. Now, the battlefield you visited was in Eastern Europe in World War II. Hmm. Which is strange, given that the man you encountered, uh, Clifford Unger, played no part in that conflict. I can't explain it. But if you can connect me to the Chiral Network, who knows what we might discover. Alright. So, am I gonna go visit Hartman? I'm down. I'm Still down there, Slavs? If so, I have a request. When you're ready, head upstairs to the delivery terminal. Okay. Well, let's go. Ooh. Are we gonna have a flashback? Yeah. That's what this is about. Tar belt. Be 
beyond it is Edgenot City, the last bastion of civilization you'll find that far out. It's your final destination. Once you use the Cupid to connect it, the Cairo network will span the entire continent. The rebirth of America is so close. And remember, that's where Amelie is being held captive. We need you to bring her home safely. <sighs> okay. But before you cross the tar belt, there's one more knot we need you to tie. Hartman will help you get it done. All right. Sam, I'd like for you to bring me a few things. First, the dog tags you took from that soldier. Tuck them away in a pocket so you don't misplace them. Second, Mama's corpse. Her, her body shows no signs of necrosis, and I, for one, would like very much to know the reason why. Closer study may yield information that could prove instrumental in helping us to overcome the death stranding. All right. Suffice it to say, one minute remaining. I don't have much time. See to your preparations. I'll be waiting. You'll find an official order on the terminal. All right. I want to do other orders as well, but I'll do that whenever I go live. Recovering winter clothes. Okay. Let's just do the main mission. I'll come back and play. Do that later. So I take it I'm going to be carrying a corpse. So I don't want to take a lot of stuff on me. Yep, I'm going to be carrying a corpse. Nothing is carried on my back. No, 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 no. Let's do this. Carry that one back. Uh. This will be all on the ground, ain't it? Or no, in storage. Uh. Give me. I want these to place my grenade pouch. Okay. Um, we got regular grenades. I'd like to carry some PCCs. Carry them back. Carry them back. Um, put that and all right. Uh, put on the gloves. I th there was an update to this game, so there's probably gonna be a lot of stuff that's taken off. Um, yep. That's it. I'll craft more PCCs and take them on me. All right, Sam. Take care of her. I will. And don't worry. She won't go necro. Millingham's special. Be funny if... These haw of ours ended up being the key to saving us all. <laughs> oh, 
on my back she goes. Order of time. All right. Let me activate. Fabricate. Two more. Oh, I can still. All right. Well, I have my right, right hip and left hip as well. I didn't know that. All right. Begin and scan. Have a pleasant journey. I go all the way up there. Keep on keeping on. Do we got any um any of these going up there? Restrictions oh. I got one going up there. All right. Got BTs up ahead. Get off right here. All right. Or 300 meters at least. That's a long drop. So let's make our way down there slowly. <clears throat> I got away from them pretty quickly. That's surprising. Hey, thank you, Loror. Sit right there. All right. Take our time. Stands a shadow of a man shape just like me. My curiosity keeps me confused. I love this music. I love it so much. Oh. This is 
very nice. A nice house or building, whatever it is. Alright, bye music. Bye bye music. Oh man, I hate to do that. Especially with good music like that. Displaying performance evaluation. It wasn't that long of a walk. <sighs> All right. My bridge link is constantly going up. Request to join UCA registered. Awaiting Cupid connection. All right, sweet. <clears throat> Oh, uh, give it to me! Yeah! Ah! Uh, feels so good to be back and playing this. Uh, yeah! Woo! There's a lot of places I still haven't activated onto my, um, onto the network. Okay. Thermal pad. Please proceed into the facility with a cadaver. Cadaver. Good work. The body. Okay, here we go. Tone resuscitation. Oh God! If that, is that how they actually look like? Why does it sound like music from? Gosh, like it's like. Sad Beethoven music or something like that. I don't don't please don't go in the comments and fucking say shit. Any of you guys who are music music artists or anything like that. <clears throat> oh my god, look at his feet. That's very cool. No. Pants down. Glad you could make it, Sam. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to alarm you, but I am what I am. Ah, please lay her down there. Still no sign of them. You know, your heart stops beating. It stops every 21 minutes. I spend three minutes on the beach, and then return. 60 deaths and 60 resurrections per day. What? 60 opportunities to search the beach for my departed family. This is how I live. This is my life. So, 
While you've traveled to and from the scene an impressive number of times, my beach count is a little higher. 218,549. God! I've only been to the scene I see myself twice. in that crater. My wife and my child. It's like looking at the shape of my heart. The doctors called it myocardial cordophonia. Mine is an especially unusual case. I have pictures. Care to see heart went heart shaped heart? <laughs> no, you really should. It doesn't run in the family. You know, I never came to terms with their loss. It's literally a heart. In the days that followed, I became obsessed with an idea that the beach is real and they are on it. I would induce cardiac arrest three minutes at a time and search for them day after day after day. All so you could say goodbye. Quite the opposite. It is said that everyone's beach is different. So what if everyone's afterlife is different too? It's a good question. I find the thought terrifying. Spending eternity alone. Which is why I decided to find my family and make sure to move on with them. You mean die with them? Yep. If hey. death would see us reunited, then yes. But the repeated cardiac arrests took their toll on my heart. The muscle gradually deformed. And after a while, they started calling me the beach scientist. <laughs> Hartman. I'm glad we could have this conversation. You're a good looking dude, Hartman. <laughs> he keeps on forgetting that Sam is a uh... body that doesn't necrotize. No sign of decomposition. It's as if she were still alive. The perfect mummy. An impeccable corpse. What's wrong? Where's the other thing you were supposed to bring? Ah, found it. Behold. Wait, dead man. It appears to be an umbilical cord. Human by the looks of it, I think. But this was no ordinary conduit between fetus and placenta. It looks more like a BT's tether. Huh? Why? And this was Mama's? Yes. Hmm. A body that doesn't necrotize and an umbilical cord connected to the beach. These are remarkable discoveries, Sam. Enough to set my sore heart racing. Five Thank you. I apologize if our conversation gets cut short. Okay. I must go back to the beach and look for my wife and child. One person, one beach. That's the rule. But I'm the exception. My beach is connected to others, as if it were the beneficiary of a coronary bypass. Maybe this twisted heart of mine made it possible. All I know is that I will find them. Even if my every visit raises new questions. I'll have my answers one day. Well, that's good one to know. Day. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. The battlefields. The endless wars you found yourself trapped in. Why do World War era soldiers wander the beach a century after they fell? Good question. Normally the souls of the dead move on. The beach is just a corridor, a place through which they pass on the way to the other side. But if regret, uh, resentment, a, um, a fervent desire to remain, if these feelings are powerful enough, they may give rise to an altogether different beach. 
a collective purgatory for an army of the damned. Hmm. Clifford Unger. His misery and hatred, combined with your BB acting as some sort of catalyst, have brought these battlefields to our world. Two minutes to cardiac arrest. Please proceed to a safe location. It's just a theory. You think Higgs is pulling his strings? Pulling all their strings? Ensure you are in a stable position. I don't know. But evidence does suggest that Higgs brought them here. One minute remaining. Please hold on to something secure. Oh, before I forget, I have a favor to ask. Activating lab security measures. Could you just relax until I come back? Yeah, I got you. Time stops on the beach, but not in the scene. Rest assured, it'll only feel like three minutes to you. We'll continue this shortly. Five, four, three, two, one. It's so interesting. So, three minutes of waiting. All right. family an adorable little family Harmon's daughter antique record player it's playing a song right now drawn it by his kid daughter. Arbiter of Life. A whale skeleton. It has hind legs right there. Two hundred eighteen thousand five hundred and fifty. Oh, sorry. Uh, where were we? I may be used to the twenty-one minute cycle, but for a first-time face-to-face meeting, 
There's just too much to cover in one go around. Can't be easy living like this. Yes. And no. Now that I'm acclimated to it, it isn't especially uh, onerous. Defecation, pollution, nutrition. Most of life's basic functions fit rather easily into a 21 minute time slot. <laughs> Sleep oh, yeah. is the tricky one. And intercourse, I suppose. Verbal or physical. Not that, that someone in my position has to worry much about either. Uh, do, do, do you read, Sam? Listen to music. Well, yes. Watch films. You know, I keep busy. I have a collection of music, uh, television shows, some very interesting short films, and stories. Everything consumable within a 21 minute window. 20 minutes or of love. From before the Death Stranding, of course. Okay. <laughs> but honestly, the 21 minutes I spend here, all downtime, nothing more. Time spent waiting to go back to the search. My body may be present, but my soul is on the beach. I'm already dead. I know that feeling. Lost my family in an accident. Well, I never expected you to open up to me. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. As it happens, I've read about your circumstances. I lost my family in an accident, too. Felt oh, weird to hear him in just my right ear, but it makes sense. I was in the ICU having heart surgery, out of town, in the city. When it was clear that I was going to pull through, my wife took my daughter back to the house to collect some things for me. Mm. And then they were caught in the void outs. The city and the hospital were spared the worst. But the shockwave knocked out the power. And my life support. God, I woke up on the beach. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. The people who died in the two void outs were there. What happened? What's going on? He's the only one that's conscious about this. wife and my daughter in the procession hey it's me they're trying to bring him back where are you going wait gosh don't leave without me no don't go please don't go Right back. The ICU's backup generator kicked in, and I was brought back to life by the defibrillator. Exactly 21 minutes after my heart had stopped. And that was the last time I saw my family. It's my damned heart's fault that we were torn apart, but it's also the reason I'll see them again someday. It defines me. I am Hartman. Ever since, I've walked the beaches of others. I follow my family's footsteps for a while. And when I get tired, I return here to continue my research. It's funny though, even when my heart stops, the pain 
lingers. Um, you have any family photographs, Sam? Pity. Five minutes to cardiac arrest. You mind telling me what I'm doing <clears throat> here before you go back to the beach? Oh, um, of course. There's a prepper own station in this area. Our scientists stationed there are researching material from before the Death Stranding. What kind of material? The Earth has a long memory. It's straw to tell a story, one that goes back to the very beginning, one that not even the Death Stranding could erase. The scientists are all colleagues of mine from the earlier expedition. I'd like you to bring them onto the chiral network. Armalee proposed we establish our research posts along this belt. Despite a worldwide search, this is the only area known to contain fossils from the late Cretaceous period, <clears throat> when the dinosaurs died out. The assumption being that the last ones lived here and here alone. You see, right. hiding in the earth then are memories of a major mass extinction. Clues that could tell us how to survive our predicament. Certainly, that was Armley's hope as part of the advanced team when she assigned our backup team here. The past informs the present and aids us in building the future. She was careful to impress that upon us before she went west. Three minutes to cardiac arrest. Shut up. I'm putting you on mute. <laughs> Some time later, we began to observe unusual activity in the tar belts outside Edgenot City. Vast quantities of tar began surfacing, spreading, consuming many of my colleagues, as well as a chiral way station. The whole incident defied explanation. You think Higgs is to blame? I don't know, but we needed that way station. It was essential to expanding the chiral network westward. That's why I'm asking you for your help in building a new one. It won't be much given the handful of equipment we've uh, managed to scrape together. Nothing like the Knot Cities, that's for sure. But a Knot is still a Knot. Sam, I want you to use the Cupid to put the scientists on the network, then go to Armalee. Afterwards, we can get back to the important job of researching the death. Well, that floor came in handy. Don't worry about him, Sam. The air mat door absorbs the impact. I'll unlock the door for you. Okay. <laughs> okay. That was wonderful. Sam, you heard him. You can grab the order at a delivery terminal. All right. I'll do one delivery and then I'll go on stream after this. In this region is to build a replacement for a way station that was lost to the tar. The first step is to put a shelter with our scientists on the chiral network. Now we don't know the first thing about Emily's status or what Higgs is up to. That's a concern for us as much as you. But we won't know more until we get to Edge Knot City. And that means connecting this region first. You should start with the geologist and the paleontologist. The latter's holding something for the Evil Devil biologist, so I recommend you save her for last. That way, you can finish a delivery and link up the final site in one go. Once all three are on the grid, come back here. Then we can get to work on the replacement for that lost way station. Alright, so let's do this. 
Oh, I can do both of them right now. Uh, okay. Oh, that's an antimatter bomb. We are not doing that. <laughs> I'll just do this one. A geologist one. of ours has been studying fossils as part of his research into prehistoric extinction events. He's been out there conducting excavations for a while now and has begun to suffer the effects of chiral contamination. No doubt the result of excessive exposure to chirelium during the dig. Until the site is properly decontaminated, his work can't proceed. Nor will his health improve. So we need you to bring him some chirelium scrubbing agents. Alright. Administering shock. Stand clear. The strata the team was investigating dates from the end of the Cretaceous period, the time of the infamous mass extinction, which brought the reign of the dinosaurs to a close, leaving small mammals to inherit the Earth. It's the most recent of the Big Five, and one of the largest mass extinctions the world has ever seen. In any event, our team found something truly remarkable. Can you guess what it was? A fossil beach. If that is indeed what it is, then he has made a tremendous discovery. Therefore, Sam, it is essential that you deliver those Chirelium scrubbing agents as soon as possible. All right. Thermal pad. Indispensable gear for cold weather operations. Especially useful when traversing snow capped mountains. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, okay. There's no reason to have it. All right. Let's do this, bitch. Order a sign. The first. Whoops. The first. Let me get. Oh, there's one down here. Sweet. It doesn't reach Damn. the one side put up there. So, Hartman told you all about the lake. How the attack that created it changed his life forever. Not only did he lose his family, he very nearly lost himself. For 21 minutes, he was in a state of cardiopulmonary arrest. Under normal circumstances, he would have died. Therapeutic hypothermia saved his life. But the 21 minutes he spent on the other side had a lasting effect on him. Perhaps due to the shock, his doom's abilities seemed to have increased. And now he takes every opportunity to walk the beach in search of his family. Uh, my apologies, Sam. He came all this way to visit me, yet I neglected to give you a proper farewell. Do be careful out there. As I mentioned before, this region is rich in memories of death and extinction. Okay. It should come as no surprise that BTs are sighted here more frequently. Perhaps you recall the models in my lab. Their designs were all based on eyewitness accounts. Though I suppose they must have struck you as strange, considering the many times you've come face to face with the real McCord. <laughs> uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> so I gotta get on the other side of this mountain. Which won't be a problem. Do you know why? Just, I'm fucking Norman Reedus, dude. That's why.
All right, here we go. Build that right there. Okay, Chiral Network ends right here. What in the actual fuck was that? Did you guys hear that? Construction complete. What was that? Oh my god, what? Uh, okay. I'm fucking afraid, dude. I'm going up this mountain. Nonchalantly. Ooh, shit. You got this. Norman Reedus and his amazing fetus. Lou. How far can I go up this? There's gotta be a limit. Ooh, ooh, shit. Whoop. Yep. Alright. I'm just gonna... Going over here. Start climbing up this as much as I can. Oh my god, dude. Some major er earthquakes. Please don't hit me. I know, Norman. I I'm trying to get the show on the road. Alright, yeah, I mean, you, you got a show on the road. You know, ride with Norman Reedus. Which, quite behind on. Very, very behind on. Alright. Your boy has climbed. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> I climbed, but I've climbed for nothing. I'll be back here. Light out. I'm now. Okay. We can't be that much farther now. I mean, what am I saying? I could be hella far away. Ah, uh, no, nah, we're not that much farther. So you get to it. PCC is run. I'm gonna make it. Hey, what's up, dude? Everything here is very concerning. I made it. Begin the scan. Scan the bridge's ID. Fragile express ID verified. Weapons detected. All right. Weapons will be locked until departure. Cargo verified. Deliver. Confirm. Oh, thank God 
for that. I, I was worried you might not get here in time. But then I've done nothing but worry of late. I I've been haunted by those visions you doom sufferers see. That end of day stuff. I put the nightmares down to fatigue. The uh, possibility of chiral contamination never even occurred to me. Uh, it's just lucky we caught it before the suicidal stage. Dying's not an option. My research is nowhere near complete. It's not just my life you're saving here. It's my life's work. I started to wonder if I'd ever see these meds. I guess you really are good at what you do, huh? Yeah. Thank you. It's awesome. Woo! All right. Got you. Bites of dust. Ooh, level two. And just like that, I'm part of the UCA with access to a treasure trove of historical research materials. Studying this fossil beach should be a good deal easier now. Assuming I can prove once for all that that's what it is. Honestly, though, I'm just excited I can finally share these findings with everyone. Can you believe I found chiral deposits in strata dating back 65 and a half million years? No, not Evidence really. of an ancient death stranding. No. Chiral matter has existed on Earth since long before the dawn of man. This stratum is proof of that. Look at this, Sam. Yeah, I'm looking. You see that black fissure there? Yeah. We believe this is the source of the Chiralium readings. In the distant past, earthquakes caused frictional melting along fault lines, producing layers of what is known as pseudotachylite. We call these layers fossil earthquakes. Extending the principle, our fissure here is what one might term a fossil beach. The presence of Chiralium in this of all strata cannot be a mere coincidence. It strongly suggests that beaches must have appeared during the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. And not just then. The Chiral Network has recovered data suggesting that similar fossil beaches were discovered in strata corresponding to other extinction events too. That would seem to indicate the Big Five and all other major extinctions were accompanied by the appearance of beaches. In expanding the Chiral Network, You've helped us glimpse a pattern in these scattered points of data. You've furthered our individual research projects and ensured that it is only a matter of time before we recover all we have lost and solve every mystery that remains. But this is only the beginning. See this through, Sam, and there's no telling what we might learn. All right. Woo. Good work. New order available. Please well, access delivery terminal for further information. Alright. Well, anyways, guys. Thank you for watching this episode of Death Stranding. Uh, sorry I've been putting videos up. A lot of stuff has been going on. Uh, just taking uh, some time and everything. Also, look forward to your new series coming March 30th, 31st. Um, I'm going to be real excited about this new series. Probably been, I've really been wanting to record it. But, 
without further ado, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your family and friends, and if you guys are joining this live stream, well then, welcome to the live stream. Bye everyone! <laughs>